Last week, the head of the country's central bank floated the idea of dumping the greenback as the world's reserve currency, replacing it with an international currency. Thousands of people gathered to hear Barack Obama deliver key foreign policy speech on his current European tour. His vision for America's place in a new world order. Returning vets could be a risk to our nation. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. And one of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance. I think the new world order is emerging. This is a hoax and a scam which is designed to transfer wealth and power from the private sector to the government sector and from the government of the United States to a world government. And those people who have been yelling, oh, the UN's going to take over global conspiracy government. They conspiracy theorists. They've been crazy, but now they they're right. And who got the money? Hundreds and hundreds of banks, any bank or that has uh, access to the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve's discount. Tell us who they are. No. You know, financial terrorism. They have the ability to tweak the knob. I am proposing that the Federal Reserve be granted new authority. The ultimate goal of the carbon tax and the cap and trade is to destroy production. This energy tax is the largest tax increase in American history. We're actually creating a global warming police. So number one, they can come in, the federal government can come in, inspect your house, and send you the bill. We're setting up a global warming Gestapo. One of the things that if you talk to our generals, they are desperate for is a civilian uh, counterpart to our military forces. I am fierce. And this is what I wear. Senator Barack Obama's presidential campaign is asking Missouri law enforcement to target anyone who lies or runs a misleading television ad. I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. The president, when he was in Europe last week, he met with the king of Saudi Arabia. He appeared to bow. President Obama today proposed something new, something called prolonged detention. Pre-crime is where people are arrested and incarcerated to prevent crimes that they have not yet committed.